Hi, Jim Van Zandt here, one of the pastors, Carlisle United Methodist Church, with Sermon in Three Minutes. Thanks for tuning in today. April Fool's Day, 1989, the Burger King Corporation took out a full-page ad in the USA Today newspaper announcing their brand-new left-handed Whopper. And yeah, most people knew right away it was an April Fool's joke, but apparently not everybody did, because the next day... The Burger King Corporation issued a statement saying that uh, their restaurants reported over 12,000 people came into their restaurants asking for the new left-handed Whopper. What was really funny, though, in that report is that they reported that hundreds of customers wanted to make sure that when they ordered a Whopper that day, that they got the right-handed version. I think that's pretty funny. Hey, uh, with Easter just uh, being uh, last week here, uh, happening on April Fool's Day, I I think the calendar gave every pastor in America a gift, uh, a preaching theme here. You know, the Apostle Paul in the New Testament, he makes a great big deal of the resurrection of Jesus. I mean, that's the hinge pinch in our faith. That's why we're even here. And he even says if the resurrection isn't true, then we are, of all people, the most to be fools. And that is true to a certain extent that we would be fools if we have been so hoodwinked. But when you think about it, how is it that starting with just 12 men at the time, um, peasant, fisherman, farmer, uh, there was a physician in there, there was a tax collector from these original 12 who took the story of the resurrection of Jesus that now, even today, one in three people on the planet confess to believe in the resurrection. Does that mean we're all fools? Or how is it a man named Jesus who never traveled more than 100 miles his entire lifetime that you can't find someone who... You can find someone who believes in him in every nook and cranny of the world. A man who never wrote anything down that we know of, and yet more books and material have been published and written about this man Jesus than any other subject. More songs have been written about Jesus or for Jesus than any other subject that songs have been written about. And the same thing with artwork. More artwork has been created about Jesus than any other subject in history. Are we all fools? I think not. In the light of Easter, God came and changed the world. Jesus said there is a, there is a Father, there is a God. We're not happenstance creation here. That this Creator wants to have an intimate relationship with us. That this Creator wants to sp- spend every waking moment not only with us, but secure our future with Him. Jesus Christ bought the best news that humankind could ever hear. We're not alone, we're not at random. We have a purpose and there is a place for us after this life ends. But more so than that, we have a reason to rejoice in the life and truly live it as God has given it to us. Rejoice today in what God has given him. If you believe in Jesus Christ, remember, you're no fool. Have a great day.